Hi, my name is Jacob Rockowitz, and this screencast will walk through viewing and editing the source behind a web form. Starting off with a very basic demo of the contact form, which I use in a lot of the demos. I'm going to show you the form, and you can use the UI to edit fields. I like doing this demo where you just add a company to the form. I'm going to call it company. Hit save. And you see the fields added. And it's not in the right spot, and I want to make some additional changes. And I go into the source mode, and I'm going to show you that you can move. So you can edit the source on this in this view, in this mode. Here's the YAML. And I can go in and say, I'd like to make this required. True. And I can say it's your company. And hit save, and we've updated the form. And here's the changes. Now, what I do in my workflow is I'm using the features module for a lot of the development. I think it's going to help a lot of people to consider going down this route. Um, so we have the form. I'm going to jump over and show you this is the original form. This was what was imported in the web form module. It's included in the config install directory. And you'll see the field's not there yet. But there's a development MD file in the root of the web form module that gives you code snippets that I use to do the development. They help me out. They have some of the workflow that I'm using to do patching and stuff. But important area is importing and exporting config because there's some short commands to use the Drush features export. And to set up features export, you just need to include a webform.features.yaml file that's set to true. And all your configuration will be importable and exportable. And I've taken this command. I'm going to slide over to the command line. I'm going to run it. And what it's going to do is update all the exported config, which it's just done. I'm going to jump back. I'm going to switch over to the config, and you're going to notice something where everything's been updated, and it's on one line. This is happening because I'm using core to export the YAML, and it doesn't recognize tidying, which is what I'm going to show you next, the uh, multi YAML properties that go on multiple lines. Um, what you're going to want to do at this point to be able to really edit this, these elements in your IDE is you're going to go back into the development. I'm going to tidy it, and that's utility that's included. Control-C. I'm going to jump over. That's actually the wrong command. We'll take it from here. Sorry. We could actually export again. It's really not a problem. I executed both times. Now we can do the tidy. And everything's been tidy because everything was re-exported. And I'm going to jump back. And now you're going to see this pipe delimiter, which allows you to have clean-looking exported config files. And now we can go in and actually make additional edits. We can make a decision that company should come first. And we can update the file in here. What's also very powerful is we can now update anything, not just the elements. So we could say, change the title, contact us. By the way, this all goes into your revision control. Custom email contact web form. Let's see what else you can. And then you can also update the settings. I spent a lot of time on the names of all the settings to make them easy to understand. So you could say send email. Or you can go update the confirmation, which at the bottom, you can actually start editing the body. We're using tokens. And I think people are starting to get the point of how this is set up. This is meant to be readable for developers, people who understand how the back end's working. And want to be able to quickly edit it and also diff it because you can if this is put into your version control system you can do diffs and now to import it it's really the next step in this file which is import copy it over I'm going to run it it's actually going to find this one file that's been updated it reverted it because that's what we have on locally and now I'm going to jump back I'm going to hit refresh on the form I can click here I move company to the field top, the title's changed. So you can even go further. I have this one other demo that I missed, and I really do want to show it to you, is you can go in here and do stuff like if you're trying to debug your style sheet. So let's say I would like to make the font size 2M. Oh, I'm going to do the form font size 2M. You can start manipulating your JavaScript in this view, too. I'm going to hit Save. I'm going to go back in, I'm going to import, I've just increased the font size. 
I think this also illustrates a very important feature in the, the web form modules, this concept that I'm trying to create these singular config files that represent your entire form, making it easy for you to edit and manage your form and understand what's going on. Um, that's why I actually spent the time to allow CSS and JavaScript to be injected instead of relying on a, a separate contrib module to do it, because then you'd have to go into that separate contrib modules config and manage this information. Um, I hope this helps get you started in developing and building very rich forms, and thank you for your time.